What is going on today, guys? Rubio Gaming 17 here. We're back with part two of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you missed part one, I'll have a link to that in the description below, so make sure to go check that out. And just a quick recap of basically what happened in part one. Main protagonist, Cal here. He's a surviving member of the uh, of Jedi. Most likely a, a Padawan. As we saw, his, his master basically... We're assuming he sacrificed himself to save Cal. Um, and he is being hunted by... By the Empire. So we know that Cal is a survivor of Order 66. And... Let's see what happens next. all. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We're coming up on our destination. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. Oh, this music is so great. Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. OK, 
Okay, so these meditation circles are safe points. Well, let's get some new uh, skills. This is the only skill we have. Overhead slash unlocks a powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies. Well, I guess it's the only thing we can learn. Oh, let's go. No skill points available, but looks like we can either get lightsaber attacks, uh, different force abilities, and just standard survival skills. More health, more stamina, things like that. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. <laughs> no, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Thanks. the vault seer mentioned whoever i'm supposed to find must be waiting there okay so we have our own personal guide here Rotate, move. Okay. Ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. The zip line? Whoa! How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? <laughs> okay, so I can't really do much. Aside from that, okay. This is just the checkpoint, really. Can I go in there? I think it's sealed. I hear you, but there's something over here I want to explore. Okay, that's cool. So they tell you when, or at least there's some indication of if you're veering off the, the right path or not. Worse than Grease does. <clears throat> um. Okay.
All right, note to self, don't go into that monster's lair. Maybe that's something we can explore later on. But wasn't there a... Yeah, so there's another path we can take here. Okay, it looks like there's something that we can collect. How do we get to it? That's the question. Okay, I guess we can't climb that. <laughs> the Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Okay, so our ability is called Psychometry. Cal can receive information from the Force when he touches certain items. That's pretty cool. Is there a way to get up there? Yes, there is. Oh, there's not. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Hold on, BB1. I'm coming. Things are ugly. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Okay, what is that? Okay, that's our data bank. Oh. Let's put that on. I love how everything just effortlessly breaks. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, that's where I was headed, too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. Vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Did you find something, BD1? New emitter acquired. You can change the lightsaber parts on workbenches throughout the galaxy and on the mantis. Okay. Alright, so it looks like you could modify that lightsaber. Bogrets and what? Splocks. So that's what these ugly things we killed are called. Bogrets. Once the adult boglings are out of the way, splocks burrow into their nests and devour eggs. Was it? I think the splocks were the ugly things we killed, and the bogrets were the, the little Pokemon-looking creatures. where we need to go. I can feel it. That's a really big bug. Oh, there's more. everywhere we've been. Oh, 
Uh, it's pretty cool. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. Okay, and on the bottom left corner, it also tells us the percentage that we've explored. tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. There was a chest over here. Bad idea. Oh, those things are gonna be annoying. Can I climb this? Can we climb? Okay, back there, BD one. Appreciate it.
I'm looking. See something in there? Master? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. tricks. Okay, something tells me that I went the wrong way. What is that? <laughs> Oh my god. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Okay, so where am I? Right here. I gotta go back up here. Treasure chest, I think. Nope. This area was used for meditation. By someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Okay. See what new skill we can acquire. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. We'll do that, yeah. Yeah. 
Someone may camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. We're just here. Oh, wait. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. I think those scans just tell us some history about what about this place. Amazing. BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. <laughs> Maybe 
Sierra was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? Okay, so we gotta go back to the to the ship. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Oh. Jesus. No. Oh, you don't have any more. Oh, come on. <laughs> that thing <laughs> it's its own mini boss fight There we go. Thing's finally dead. All right. This is ugly monstrosity. Well done. An Agdo. Sever the tongue. Oh, well. <laughs> now we know. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber. I forgot we can use the force to slow him down. Well, it's dead. It is dead. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Yeah. 
Death the mirror. What happens if I if I rest? Did it say if I could heal? Yes, it did. All right, cool. And enemies have respawned. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. BD-1. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling me fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Well, except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I... Cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. All 
All right, so we're building the Jedi Order. Well, first we gotta recover the Jedi Holocron, but I think that's gonna be all for this part. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned for part three.